This rather squirmy device is used by surgeons for making incisions in human flesh and then sealing up the wounds. And it does so using a fairly high voltage in the region of hundreds to potentially thousands of volts at very high frequency. And as such, it doesn't really give a shock as such. It just burns. And this is just the bare disposable um, surgical device. It says single use. It comes sealed in a bag for each uh, surgery use and then gets disposed of for hygiene purposes. But the tip is not sharp, uh, just as well really, given I've run my fingers on it. But when you push the top button here, cut, when it's connected to the machine, it will pass a high enough current that it will actually cut, cut the flesh. And the advantage of this over a traditional scalpel is that the scalpel, as soon as you cut it, blood will be flowing everywhere. This effectively uh, cauterizes the cuts, but you also have another button called coagulate, coag, which uh, can be used to actually stop uh, things bleeding just by running over the surface. And what that does, it runs at lower power. So let's do some electrical tests on this and see what's connected to what. I would guess this is basically just like almost a disposable multimeter probe. Let's bring the meter in. So I've got to guess that this here is the high voltage one. And it's probably going straight to the tip because it's well away from the others. Let's test that. So onto there and onto the tip. Hmm. Now what about, so that is connected to the tip, but I'd guess the others are the lower voltage signal. Let's put this across them. Do they put a resistor across? Nope, maybe higher value resistor. I don't think I'll be using the other one as a common. Is it using the other one as a common? The high voltage one? Oh, it is. So uh, that is now on the common here, which goes to the tip of the diathermy pen. And this is on one of the connections, other connections. Is that just a button per connection? Oh, that is just a button to that one. So that's the cut button, is this connects this to this. And this, is it going to be the same for the... It is. I didn't expect that. I suppose it makes sense in the sense that you've got a fairly high voltage, high current come out, so the circuitry would have to be able to actually withstand that. Maybe it's got up twice layers or something just to give it good separation because it's quite nasty voltages and frequencies. So that is basically common and then the two buttons going to the common, which also goes to the tip and does all the burning. Let's see if we can spudge this open. I don't think there's going to be a lot in it. It is really designed to be disposable. Is it... Welded shut in some way? I think it is. I shall bend it. Is this going to help? Have they glued it shut? I suppose given it's for surgery, they don't really want it filling out with blood, do they? Ooh, gruesome. Let's uh, try and get a screwdriver in here. At some point, I am going to stab myself here and then wish I did have a cauterizing pen to actually deal with it. So that is kind of opening up. Okay, we're getting there. I think it is glued. Hmm. Let me grab a pair of side cutters. Where's my Knipex? Oh, there we go. Oh, right, okay. This one has not been used, I'd like to say. It has not been exposed to blood. It's very simple. Oh yeah, it's just, it's not even switches as such. It's a, a pre-made circuit board. Let me zoom down on this. It's just a circuit board with the three connections coming on and two little sellotaped on tactile discs and then the connection going to the output. The black, which they've got as the common, is actually a burning tip. Uh, the other two are going straight to the buttons. Uh, no, is that right? No, it's not right. I'm wrong. Red is going right up the middle to the tip here. Hold on, let me get my meter. It's covered over by printing. What? 
Hold on. The sellotape is not helping here. Let's pull, let's pull the tape off. It's so strange to see something like this just stuck together with tape. Ultimately, it is a disposable item. It's, it's what it does. It's the, all the circuitry, all the complexity is in the unit that actually does the high frequency RF energy stuff. Oh, that's stuck on super well. On to the cheap uh, SRBP, synthetic resin bonded paper type circuit board. It's very cheap inside, but you know, it's what it does. It's what the bit that really matters here. Yeah, I'm not doing very well here. I, I'm kind of regretting not pausing for this bit, but not to worry. I think we all know the gist is the two buttons held down with sticky tape. I just wanted to check, check what the connections were. I'm just faffing around, am I, really? Is this even going to help? So I'm guessing that when they put this together, this gets... Oh, can you unplug that then? So for something that's disposable, it looks like it's unpluggable. I didn't even try that. So let's pick those little discs off. Little discs are kind of almost like spot welded. Oh no, they're actually put through and folded back. All oh, right, so the white one is ducking backwards and forwards here. The white is the common. It's coming down, connecting to the outer disc, and then it's going down to the outer disc again, and then it's going to the tip. And the red and the black are the signals back. Okay, so now if I put this back in, well, obviously it's not going to work now, I've done that. But if I put this back in, does that tip just actually just plug in then? Get the tape off it. Ugh. Yes, it does. So even though it says it's disposable, theoretically, you could just pop a, a new uh, tip into it if you're particularly... I don't know, do they have different shapes? I'm not really sure. But that's interesting. Very interesting. Now, the other connection, just in case you're wondering, for this, is a pad that goes onto the patient. It just goes onto a sort of fleshy area and that provides the return path to the current. But there have been situations, because when they're doing surgery, the patient is under anaesthetic. There have been incidents when the pad has made a bad connection and this has been used to cut at fairly high power and it's caused serious burns around the pad where it's not made a connection. So they'd kind of take it more seriously on patients who are under anaesthetic. Uh, generally speaking, if you're doing it on a sort of like remedial thing, not, nothing too major, sort of turn away and I'll do it on local anaesthetic, the pad can go somewhere that the patient can actually give you feedback and say, I'm, I'm getting a slight stinging sensation. But there we go. It's disposable. It's functional. Uh, the bit of equipment that powers this will be the expensive bit. And this is just a very minimalist simple disposable item just basically circuit board placed in and then clipped together very neat very interesting although to be honest it does make me feel just a little bit squeamish thinking about this thing in use because you just know it's going to smell a burning flesh but that's what these things do